Isolated. Yep, all by his lonesome inside the tube here. The shots come through, though, and he's going to find the first. He's holding it down, and he's still healthy doing it. Mikhail's able to trade it back and shot up on the rotate with Gangsta. Able to pick up a few. IMT, though. Number's going to get cut down. Now we're even across the board, and Chemical's the man who made it back. Looking to turn the round upside down as Kusta will fall and shot up to get it an IMT for the first. Yeah, really lotted. It's Nature inside the tube once more, and it's in Aries looking to mow him down. But Sean from downtown picks it up. Nature goes good for two. It's only eight HP for Huynh as he hops on top of the tube. And the spray is just going to continue. But the kills are starting to come once more. And IMT, just as you said, does, should be able to close this one out and grab a second round. I have to say they made that one cutting it hard for them to know what they're up against since they were pushed off of showers by Kusta, who was playing smart. And now Sean's able to get up into short A and take a pick into U-Haul on top of it. So they are creating a lot of presence all across the map. Yeah, one gets taken out, but they still have a huge edge here. And able to upgrade there. Another stinger kill. Looking for that rifle. Another one to follow. Chemicals goes huge here. And I was talking about it before the broadcast. This guy just clicks head. Everybody on this team just clicks head here. It's all down to one. It's all down to win, and unfortunately. Yeah, but the run it back from shot up. This could be the X factor, but no. He's not going to get the kill, but luckily Chemicals is there for the follow-up. Chemicals trades it out. The knives are going to be used by Win here, and shot up just going huge here. Three kills, leaving it to just the knives for Gen G. Around that, we weren't uh -oh. necessarily expecting them to win somehow, some way. Win picks up another chemical. And that gives them a little bit of a different tool to work with. But again, Immortal's just not letting them have showers for free. Not at all here. Sean going to cut down the numbers to one here. Just up to shot up. No longer the shot up and chemicals show as they've been taken off the board. And Genji look to find their oh! first. Another one through the smoke. Sean goes huge for three. And Genji might just find their first round, but they still have to worry about gangsta and nature. Yeah, Immortals is trying to, you know, run with the old idiom of if it's not broke, don't fix it. But Genji make a great adjustment and shut them down and get some big entries onto A side. We are seeing so much of response from Immortals, but they've only been able to find one frag in the mix. It's just Gangsta now left, holding back here towards this defender side spawn, just trying his damnedest to make them worry a bit, maybe try to drop a, a guy, make them rebuy a weapon, but in reality, he's gonna have to just back off here and concede. And so finally, Genji are gonna get around the board after a very labored start to the half. Gamon will go ahead and clean up gangs. Team Unstoppable with this solid five here. It's Gower oh control my. once more, but it's JC Stani with the operator to sit Sean down, and that was the winning recipe before, and I don't think that's gonna be it now as Chemical finds another. Uh, great job there by Hoen to at least bust open short A and get a pick to try to alleviate some of the bleeding here. But there's still a man down and still showers is being held onto by Immortals. Hoen able to actually get control of A Heaven though. So that makes things a bit interesting. But again, as long as they hold on the showers on the Immortals side, they're always going to have a way to retake. And they might even force Genji to pressure and port. But Hoen just keeps getting things done with these daggers. He gets it back even. It's the spike in hand though, which is scary to leave that spike up towards that heaven area now coming down onto the site two playing inside showers great decision jc stani shot up working hand in hand they are going to teleport on over jc stani going to try and meet him here in this elbow position as they jump on the site the operator what kind of value can you get one gets spotted out it's the headshot it's the spike now he just has to hold it gmd is going to take down the imposter but he has to do what seems like the impossible here. Shot up from behind, picks it up, and Genji... Which was actually the raise of Sean. That's going to tell a lot, because Sean's the, the point of the spear, right? So with him being there, they kind of know that it might be a lay on B site. And they're running out of time, so they're just going to have to send it here as that spike moves on up. Sean going to go in with the showstopper. Finds that kill onto Nature, knowing he's playing too. Team on, on the back of the site, waiting for anybody to push out, and Win goes huge exactly in close quarters with the Operator. Now, the numbers are starting to get evened out, but that Neural Theft going to show the two remaining here for IMT as Genji look to secure another in a 2v3. The Satchel comes through, Chemicals goes down, and now it's all up to Gangsta with 21 HP Dust. I mean, again, another tall order here for the Sova. Indeed, I don't really expect him to do a whole lot here. He's going to obviously go for it because money is going to be available to buy next round no matter what. So, attempted it, but it's just... To be able to pick that kill up, absolutely huge. We'll see left. now Gen.G on the back foot. What they can get done. One's going to get spotted in between Ouch. the cages. It's Kusta, and it's all starting to come down here just before the half. 
Han gonna toss out some paint shells of his own. Tries to clear out towards elbows. Able to find that kill onto Nature once more. But on low HP, Gangsta trades it back. That's a 2v4. Once more, Gen G running down the clock. They will be able to get that spike down. But now we'll see the post plant positions coming on through. Yeah, again, Immortals able to get that early shower control, get the early rotation. They also caught the lurk of Kusa. If Kusa could have gotten a pick and gotten to U-Haul, they may have had to stay on to A, but because they caught him, they're able to rotate comfortably and with a massive man advantage. Gimon trying to see if he can't still put up some heroics to help his team through with the help of his teammate Quinn, but there's just too many forces still available for Immortals to trade their way out. That's going to put them at the 9-3 lead as we switch sides. Spike planted nice and simple like so at the end of the day you lose this round you still get some extra credits to try and force in the future and now the remaining four all through CT so everybody corralled to the backside. <laughs> and everyone's at market to fit. <laughs> this is a wild round. <laughs> <laughs> They still have the Boombot and Paint Shows though on Sean and they still have the drone so I mean they, they had some ways to maybe crack the site back open. Maybe being a very key word in that sentence I have just uttered. Yeah, it's and they're running out of time. That's the thing is they, they've been so methodical rotating over, but because everybody had to do just that, the Molotov comes through. Paranoia on top. Who's going to find the first? JC Sonny trades it back, but I mean, it's just looking like an attacker sided round. Nobody on the spike here. Everybody getting mowed down, and they don't have the time. Who's has to drop his cage just to feel safe? Falling back and trying to hold on to this angle, but he's gonna get flashed and I have to turn. Lance now being taken. He's got a nice little one-way cage sitting right there, but Stani doesn't care about that. He's gonna find the entry anyway. He still sees the little toesies there of Kusa. Now they're just running them down. This is where again IMT thrives in the chaos, as it's all up to win once more. And the spike is down. It's a one v four. You just really have to send it. No saving. And the first kill comes through. Low HP on shot up. Could find another. But then the next two, it's uh, an uphill battle for sure. Dash into the smoke and unfortunately meets his two. G don't have much to work with. They're going to try to get aggressive on short A. This is where Immortals thrives. Again, you take these early gunfights. I think Immortals come out on top. Fortunately for Gen G, nobody here to stop them to push through onto market. Looks like maybe a trap wire there, just to give away mm -hmm. some information should Sean look to push on up. He's actually able to find one. He can hold steady as he finds a kill on the shot up. JC Stani. Toss out the paranoia, but it goes wide. The paint shell is going to be used, and JC Stani, fortunately, heads on back. So no damage traded out, Ooh. but a kill still going the way of Gen G. JC Stani makes it right back. He's trying to avenge his fallen teammate, and he does just Look at this, that. though. Chemicals is completely cleared out B-side except for Elbow. Now, we know no one's there, but he doesn't yet. But now he's even in back. Calls you be able to backtrack and clear Elbow. So they're able to absorb that short A pressure and just kind of bypass it thanks to Chemicals being able to get hookah control so early on. They felt enough pressure at A to kind of understand that maybe B was open and Chemicals went and checked for them, found out that that was in fact the case. Now they have a 4-on-4 post plan. And there was a trap wire there, which basically saved Chemical's life. He didn't want to push any further into the spawn because of that trap wire, and he turns away, which there was one waiting for him inside that spawn. So very unfortunate. Now Mikhail able to use that Hunter Shuri, but he's just Whoa. getting killed from back halls. Nobody clearing it out. The showstopper going to be used. It's not going to do it just yet. It's the classic up top. Now Wynn needs to do some heroics here. Working against the clock, working against three members here. Has to go for the defuse, but instead it's JC Stani to close it out. And third. If Jin want to recover in this series, having Sean and Huen pop off is exactly the recipe for success that you're going to be wanting. It's Huen picks up on chemicals, trying to be cheeky. Up close with the shorty, JC Stani at least able to trade it back and pick up a Spectre. But Jinji still have man advantage, and they have control of the A site, and they know that JC Stani is still here towards me. But they're trying to jump in on him, and... It almost cost them dearly, but Gamon luckily able to stop that from happening. Now they have the three on two post plant here at A. The timing there for Sean. The blaze wall goes down perfectly. The turret doesn't detect him. And it's all up to Shot up here, who was the first dead in the first round. Now looking to be the last here. Finds a kill, able to heal up. The overheal going to come through as well. Sheriff in hand. Now this is looking pretty winnable. He's got to clear out the site though. And... Mikhail again, though, IMT going to have those rifles to the bonus round-ish. Bonus round-ish. Light on the bonus as they did have to force up a couple after going down. Four members stacked up, though. Chemical's going to find the first. Tries to smoke it out, but Sean is able to trade it back. Chemical sneaks away, hangs on to the Vandal, and it's going to be a clean take over towards this A site. You see Shot Up rotating to the backside, tosses out that Leer, and we'll be playing out toward Heaven. Mm. So looking to get that spike down. Actually going to opt out of planting it just for a moment, try and get a bit safer. 
Amical's still alive, so player you have to worry about. Shot up as well. Can have an angle for himself. Able to find the first right by Generator. Nose one down under heaven is trying to run and spray the dismiss to get away. And a huge trade kill. Gangsta there to back him up. Now it's a 2v1. Sean has been hot before. And we're seeing him get extra hot here with the run it back. The fake defuse comes through. Last one out heaven. Run it back and be taken down. Now they're looking to get it halfway. Gangsta actually just looking to stick it all the way as they try and get on in. The turret going to delay them. But IMT will find the round. They battle back. Rifles go their way. A bonus round and the quicker style sometimes work with that run and gun as that dark goes out trying to get some information nothing spotted out the a side kind of taken for free here as they do trade that kill back and forth sean gonna go down now the leer comes out on top it's shot up once more to play this heaven position but the blaze wall gonna keep him corralled the spike yet to be planted now kusta in a fake to get that one down see if anybody chooses to peek it now he's gonna actually stick it this time around it's the same kind of setup as sean finds another shot up goes good for two but it's traded back immediately we find ourselves once more in a 2v1 now a 1v1 here as nature closes it out to tie things up again it's shot up on that a heaven rotation that's making the world a difference for immortals on these retakes Gen G. now we're seeing them string a few together it was the first two they let a couple go now they bring it right back in and it's looking to be two more once more, as we've seen how strong the Stingers can be, though. It was in the hands of Sean in the last round. Now going to be in the hands of Shot Up. His chemical's going to pick up one with the blades, trying to make it a second. So much damage, but back to the classic. He will go. Gen G on the back foot here in an eco round. Easily can turn it around as G GMD. And pick up that kill. The blade's no longer available, so it was just the classic on Jet. So not no harm, no foul in this thrifty round as the shock dart goes through Ooh. the spike has since made its way on the fight and shot up looking to bring the fight right to him with the stinger in hand oh he's lined up two with the hunter's fury and delayed the spike plant and look at how much damage some of these gen g players have already taken immortals might still have a chance at winning this round they do have their own hunter's fury though for pros plant and this is i mean like you said the damage is just so huge because that stinger just closes it out onto gimond and from downtown was able to trade it back but 50 hp is all he has and once more we're in the 1v1 and it's reminiscent of round number five here we go the nano swarm the head gonna be spotted out mikhail tosses out the dart it's gonna be shot down it's low hp on both members and he's just trying to buy time so nature cannot find the defuse nature's gonna find the kill this time around he gets his revenge and we're all tied up <laughs> Yeah, it is funny how it plays out that way, right? It was nature losing the 1v1 to McCain. Um, now they try and find another's chemicals. He gets baited out there. The shot and a miss. This time around, though, Kusta doesn't have the jiggle like he needed. And Chemical finds another JC starting to back him up. And Gen G are starting to fall apart. They really are. I mean, Immortals are working with perfect info right now. This is brilliant. And they have man advantage on it. Oh, my. Make it another. Almost one more. Sean, though, has been hot for this Gen G roster. The op shot going to go wide on that as well. As we see Chemical switching up his position. Now, Nature. JC Stani going to be holding the cross here. A little bit of damage traded, it seemed, as the Nano Swarm going to stop the push. Oh the spike my. is now down. And again, Gen G on the back foot. Sean gets traded out. And it's all up to Huynh. We've seen so many scenarios like this. Gen G no. looking to come out on top. He makes it a 1v1, but he's on 36 HP. Oh my, this would be an absolutely crazy effort if Flynn's able to pull this all the way off. He's going to get the spike plan. He's got the ult as well, but he's on low health. That's the big problem for him. He's got to get the jump on his opponent. The post plan on A, this is where he feels comfortable. Every single round we've seen it like this, but we've seen IMT retake with ease. Now, Chemicals, full HP. Should be able to drop down silently here onto this site. There it is. The shot comes through. He swings a corner and Win gets it done. Gen G are back on the board. I just to each site, or maybe like one site has one defender while one has to kind of keep an eye on spawn. And so they're trying to work up middle since they cleared those close corners. And now they've cleared Pita as well. Smoke up. They can get inside of market. And so they're going to they're gonna split this B site. And the blades traded out. There's the Hunter's Fury as well. Trying to sit something down. Shot up. Able to sneak away from that one. Here's the Jekko up top. It's Jet V. Jen Huynh comes out on top. But the trades come right back. And Gen G find themselves with a player advantage. They look to push up here onto the catwalk. Nature going to be taken down from the back of the side. It's all up to one it's the rotator back in b main and i don't know how much ganks has got going for him he's sitting on 39 hp from the beginning of that round yeah this has been a fantastic b split here from Jin g thanks to the opening pick they found with win over in a lobby they were able to roll that into 
a brilliant set piece now. Gangsta trying to be the spoiler of it as he's trying to work this clutch out. He's got some abilities still to spin, but again, not the health points to sacrifice as he will get stamped out by there, Mikhail. And an aggressive split over towards this B site. Nano Swarm gonna delay it for just a moment as that Hunter Shuri trying to delay as well, and he's able to find one. GMD gets traded back in the 4v4. Gen G look to push their lead. IMT trying to make it even at the half, but Kusta says, no way, Jose, as he finds two. Chemicals trades it back. Once more, a 2v3 situation for IMT. Gangsta on the rotate, low HP as well on chemicals as he dashes across, 45 health and a dream, a vandal to his name and running out of time is IMT. He's gonna drop down onto Log, Sean is watching it and Sean will take him down. The shock dart might not be enough because we know just how hot he is. It's seven to five at the half, Gen G. Plan, it's all gonna come down to Gen G's retaking skills, which is always difficult in five on five when you don't really have any anchor points to work from and pistols so this round really is that coin flip here this is actually very reminiscent of game number two where it was the same exact thing mm -hmm. just an opposite letter shot up now playing aggressive inside of b main sean gonna trade it back and sean just cannot be silenced here in this series finally he will go down not before i a bit of damage onto jc stani mikhail trying to get onto that site but oh my god the nano swarms from nature i am like this if you're hmm. gen g there's really no other way to win and unfortunately they didn't roll the right number Cover going out. AB finding a one kill would hurt at the very least. It's only a frenzy here for JC Stani. Mm -hmm. I believe fingers across the board for the rest of the squad. MD looking to set things up here with the smoke. I, I mean, there's not a whole lot of reason to save. Obviously, everybody's economy would be incredibly damaged. So I think here at some point, maybe you look to just die on the sword by finding a kill on the way out. It looks like Genji just want to save. Mm. Okay, yeah, now they're just running. Okay, now yeah. it is. Okay, the kills to fall here though, with Sean playing on the back of the site. So we'll see what he can get done. That's from the shadow is going to be used to get onto the site. The flash comes through. JC Sonny just trying to spray it down. They know they're running out of time here. They have to get the spike down. Finally, they do as they clear out the site and they clear out another. A 2v4 retake. The Empress is on. And win and GMD have to do something crazy and instead it looks like just a save yeah they just don't have the money like uh, these are like the only two rifles they're really gonna have next round unless they force buy around them so getting out of here with those is absolutely pivotal and that's just a, a great job again Immortals playing a little bit assertive you know getting some early map control in enemy territory using it to hinge into a site split and they did a great job isolating those two defenders in the back of the B site and not really allowing any type of rotation from Genji to come into effect and that's just, you know, them being decisive and having players who are comfortable playing Scrappy Valorant and just going in there and swinging on people and taking duels. And they're certainly winning them consistently at this point as they now jump up to 10-7. They are just a few away. That might be one of the finishing touches required for Immortals to lock this thing in. Retake is still possible for Genji. They have a couple of alts that they could put into play, but I, I would feel like they would want to save them to the next round unless they can find an opening kill. And it's just, it's not looking good. The no. pressure on this A site, nobody can even find a way in. And, and just when you thought maybe a kill lands, oops, there it is. Okay, that kill does follow through. Nature gonna trade back too though, and it's all starting to fall apart. Running out of time is Gen G. Running out of players is Gen G as Nature finds himself a 4K. A brilliant kill towards run. middle. And now they can start collapsing on A. They're gonna lock down to enforce this hit. Chemicals does get darted, and again, there is Hunter's Fury that could stop the spike plant, but all in all, it's looking wonderful for Immortals. Oh my. Even more so, Chemicals right to the grape of Kusta. It's gonna get popped, the Nano Swarm not needed, but was used for safe measures. Now JC Stani tosses out that paranoia, a flash in response from Sean. Everybody Ooh. looks to back away. Sean now creeping up solo dolo here towards heaven. Maybe oh. it's looking like a save going Ouch. into map point. This feels rough. Yeah, it's like you really want to be able to use the Hunter's Fury to stall out a plant and let the run it back come into fruition to try to go for the retake. So now they have to save it and they have to win five rounds in a row just to force an overtime, just to force a chance in the third map. I mean, Immortals are just picking them apart and I feel like it just all comes down to first bloods. Like, I feel like Immortals mm -hmm. are getting the opening pick every round this half, it feels. 
and so you you kind of said oh, yeah god goes wide there no. unfortunately and chemicals again insult to injury as they just keep finding up the board shot up again how many first bloods had this guy had in this half he is constantly getting up middle and constantly wreaking havoc on the genji defense Gimon at least able to respond swinging off a catwalk gets it back into a four on four but hunter's fury from gangsta is gonna clear the way for a take here on this b site shot up reinforcing it with another entry onto mikhail and now it's a three on two post plant for motors there is a run it back for sean shore but it's still gonna be a tough retake for these two guys they do have the opposing Sova on low HP, but they just they don't have a whole lot of territory to work from. I mean, it's tit for tat in this round, right? It was tit for tat in rounds in the first half. Now in this last one, just when you thought Gen G was battling back, they just get traded out. Now, Sean, doing his due diligence. If you want anybody in the 2v3 clutch, it is going to be Sean. It is going to be Kusta who picked up four in that last round. Now the run it back finally gonna be used. It's gonna get sent right back and it looks like Genji running out of options once more, running out of players. The last one inside, it's shot up. Who better than to close it out? 13 to 8 as a mortal.